Hey guys, Joe Virus here. Welcome to Everyday Viral. This is vlog number six. That means it's the sixth day of me vlogging every day. Almost a whole week. I'm really proud of this. This is really awesome. I'm glad to have started this little project. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's watched the videos, who've liked the videos, commented, subscribed, who've shared. Uh, it really means a lot to me to know that that you people really care enough to, to watch me talk about whatever random stuff happens. Um, I do appreciate that a lot, and that's true, heartfelt thanks. Um, please keep viewing these. Always comment and tell me what I could be doing better. I mean, I know there's, there's a lot of other things I could be doing, uh, but, you know, I, I just want to share with you what I do at night and what I do in my, you know, when I'm awake during the day. I do want to tell you that today was a pretty boring day. The sun's almost going to come out. So, yeah, I guess it's technically tomorrow already. Um, so I guess I failed at that one. But um, to, I've, I got a pneumonia vaccine the other day and it's really knocked me out. I was in bed all day until I had to get ready for work. And um, it, it's just... It was hard. There was nothing going on at work, so nothing really to video. Um, earlier, on, on an earlier take, I said uh, to videotape, and then I realized that, yeah, that just aged me. Uh, I showed my age in there, so uh, nothing to video happened at work tonight. So on the way home, I was like, man, nothing. It was kind of just a dreary night. So I went and sat in a parking lot for a couple of hours trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about. And basically, I just wanted to say thank you to you to everybody for for watching. And then I, I, it, it popped in my head all of a sudden this crazy story about probably about 17 or 18 years ago. Uh, after the club closed, we all would go to IHOP to go eat, or Denny's, or Dirty Dan's Lakewood Cafe, or Metro Diner, Souls Taco Lounge. All these all these places. A lot of them are no longer around, but we would go to IHOP on Mockingbird and Abrams, and there was a night where a big spitwad fight happened. Um, after we finished eating, one of the tables started shooting the other table with spitwads, and so we started shooting back and forth. And these two cops had come in and sat down at the first booth of the smoking section, uh, right on the other side of the dividing wall, with a, the, there was a window pane there. It, it had some design, I think it had flags on it, uh, being that it's the international house of pancakes. Um, th so they're sitting behind that, that glass. They're, uh, they're on our side of it, though, but sitting there. And one of the stray spitwads made its way to that window right behind him. So the two cops look up at each other, look up at the glass, look back at us. And we're all like deers in headlights looking, you know, freaked out. All of a sudden, one of the cops wads up a piece of paper, dip, or dips it in the water, puts it in the straw, shoots it at us. So then it's open season on everybody. It was every man for himself at this party, party at IHOP, this spitwad shootout. Um, it was insane. Every, the cops were into it. We were into it. Uh, spitwads went everywhere. Uh, the manager was laughing. All of the waitresses were hiding and, and all the, all the uh, kitchen staff were hiding in the kitchen while we were just shooting back and forth for, I mean, it was a good 10, 15 minutes of this going on. And it was fun. And we all stayed and, and helped clean up. Uh, thank the manager for not getting mad. Thank the cops for not getting mad at us for doing that. And it's just it just really shows how Dallas Dallas cops are really freaking cool when it comes to you know treating people right. And um, I, I thought that was really awesome back then. That, of course, that's 18 years ago, 17, 18 years ago. One of the many many stories I've got in my in my brain going you know spinning around up here of, of late night crazy things. Um, I'll have to tell you sometime about what my days at KNON when I was a DJ at the, on the radio. Um, I have a lot of stories about that, too. Um, you know, Dirty Dan's was a neat place. They had, like, rock and roll posters from the 60s all up and down the walls. To go to the bathroom, you had to walk through the kitchen, walk out the back door, and go into this little outhouse that was attached to the building uh, to, go, to go to the bathroom. Uh, that was pretty sketchy. That's why we called it Dirty Dan's. Um, we always sat by the Janis Joplin poster, and... Um, and that was that was our seat back there. That that place was neat. Uh, the ceiling was all these vinyl records that were stapled or nailed to the ceiling. Pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, Lakewood Cafe, Metro Diner. Metro Diner was a, a another greasy spoon that was across from Baylor. Baylor bought the property, I guess. I, that's 
what I heard that Baylor bought the property and then had it mowed down. So there was no longer there. It's just a grass field now. But uh, dirt at, at uh, Metro, my friend Sarah and I would sit in, the, in one of the back booths. And one night we sat in the back booth and one of the tree, uh, trees, one of the pieces of wood, you know, that was part of the wall, you know, the wood paneling or whatever, there was a knot in the wood and someone had either picked out the middle part of the wood of the knot or it worked its way out. Anyway, somebody had shoved mashed potatoes and gravy and I guess butter or something into that hole. So it was up there forever. And we would go back just to check if the mashed potatoes were still in the wall. It was so gross. And every time I see Sarah now, we talk about how, hey, we need to go out and, you know, put some mac uh, mashed potatoes on the wall. And that's kind of a little inside thing with her. But that's kind of funny. Um, a lot of little stories. Anyway, like I said, I just want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and watching these videos and commenting and liking and sharing, everything like that. Um, I did this because I didn't want to th want you to think that I gave up on the vlogs and that I forgot about you. I've been thinking a lot about you, so thank you. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, follow me on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. I, I'm rarely on Twitter, but it, sometimes my Facebook posts go up on Twitter. But Instagram, same thing. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to spread the virus, and I'll see you tomorrow.